What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Lloyd's Everyday English. In today's video, should be a short video, I'm going to quickly review some common words that we use with countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Because even though this is pretty simple, pretty basic, I do notice many students making mistakes with these two. So just to quickly review, countable nouns, uncountable nouns, you know the difference, right? Countable nouns, you can uh, count them. <laughs> so, for example, bottles, tables, people, faces, teachers. You can give a number to them. 10 people, 20 tables, 5 chairs, okay? Uncountable nouns, of course, you just the things that you cannot count. <laughs> so, they're often things that you can't see as well like energy and sleep. So you can't say energies, right? Sleeps. And then also for, for things that some things you can see, but you can't actually count. So milk or water, liquids or chocolate. So when we talk about the substance itself, but not uh, dividing it into units, of course, you can have a glass of water, a bar of chocolate, etc. But just by itself, you cannot count it anyway. I'm pretty sure you know the difference, but we can talk about that another time, maybe. So I wanted to just cover a few different words we can use with these uh, different nouns. Firstly, when you're asking a question, you could say how much or how many, right? So the words much and many, or maybe I have many, or you wouldn't say I have much. I have a lot of, um, but which words do we, which type of nouns do we use here? So how many is countable nouns? So how many people, how many stars can you see in the sky? <laughs> how many friends do you have? How many videos have you watched today? So how many plus countable nouns. Now, how much would be followed by uncountable nouns. How much time do you have today? I need to talk. How much sleep did you get last night? How much milk is left in the fridge? Hopefully there's some left. <laughs> Otherwise we have to go to the shop and get some more. So how much and how many? Be careful with that because I do hear these mistakenly used. Even though I think you know this probably, it's still worth just repeating to review this so that you, you know, don't make this mistake. Next one is, again, you might ask a question, is there or are there any something? Okay, so is there, are there? Now, if we say are there any, this can only be with countable nouns because countable nouns can be talked about in the plural form, right? So. Uh, 200 people, <laughs> or um, 25 trees. I'm not being very creative with my examples here, but you can see, you could say, are there any trees in your garden? Are there any pens that I could borrow? However, is there any? Now, um, you could uh, use a singular um, countable noun, right? Is there any problem? Is there any uh, chair I can sit on, right? But if you want to use an uncountable noun, you could only use it in the singular form, not the plural form. So, is there any milk, <laughs> as we said before? Is there any water? Is there any... Oh, I thought a cat was going to come and say hello. <laughs> is there any knowledge which you would like to share. There's a cat over here. Can you see? Hey, buddy. How you doing? You are too cute. That's another mistake I hear people uh, make, by the way. Too much cute or too much amazing, something like that. So uh, using much before some type of adjective like that. So in that case, too cute, too amazing, too fantastic, but not too much cute. Anyway, that's another story. And a few more words that we can use with countable or uncountable nouns. We have few, little, some, 
and a lot. Sum and a lot, they can be used with either uh, countable or uncountable nouns. I have some time, or I need to get some sleep, so that's uncountable. I have some extra oranges, you're welcome to try one. And a lot, so that's kind of like many, right? He has a lot of friends, the teacher has a lot of students, uh, the teacher has a lot of patients, <laughs> maybe the students have a lot of patience, a lot of determination. So countable or uncountable with some or a lot of something. The last one for today, few and little or fewer and less. We could say that as well when we're comparing something. So few or fewer should be used with countable nouns. I only have a few pairs of shoes that I packed. Actually, it's not my case. I have too many shoes, too many pairs of shoes. I only have a few days free this week, so hopefully we can arrange to meet each other. I have a few ideas about how I can help you. I have fewer items in the fridge today compared to yesterday because I've eaten most of them. And little should be used, or less should be used, with uncountable nouns. I'm sorry, I only have a little time today. Or I only got a little sleep last night. I only have a little bit of knowledge about this issue. So not knowledges, right? And less, so when you're comparing something, the politician has less power these days. I drank less water today than I should have. So less should, should only be used with uncountable nouns. However, however, you will hear a lot of native English speakers actually use less with countable nouns as well. So less people, less problems, less places. So technically, only fewer should be used with countable nouns, but we kind of bend the rules a little bit with this one. So even if it's technically incorrect, you're not going to sound too strange if you use less with countable nouns. So that is about it. I hope this was a useful video, little review for you. Please feel free in the comments below to leave your own examples with countable and uncountable nouns using too much, too many. Is there any? Are there any? Little, few, fewer, and less. I think that's all of it. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And let me know how much this video helped you or didn't in the comments below as well. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye. If you would like to practice grammar points like this, we have group speaking classes in our private community. Head over to EnglishTVLive.com. That's EnglishTVLive.com to find out more about our fantastic private community. See you next time.